what is up guys welcome back to another new video and today we're gonna talk about this wrench here alright looks like a normal wrench right right wrong not right wrong alright this in particular one is the snap-on LTA M1315 the 13 and the 15 stand for 13 millimeter and 15 millimeter alright as you can see each end has a 15 degree offset and it is a combination wrench well sorta of. it's got two open ends now the unique thing about this wrench is that it is half the size of a normal wrench it is exactly four millimeters wide it is 241 millimeters long and 27 and 31 millimeters on each end this end being 27 that end being 31 millimeters from here to here right there now these wrenches are great in areas such as right behind the alternator you know you have that usually that 10 or 13 millimeter bolt or nut you're taking off and then the whole stud spins and it's got a 13 millimeter on it well yeah you can get in there with needle nose and score it up and chew it up a little but you know why not have the proper tool to do the job and also the 15 millimeter end works well on brakes when the sliders spin and you know you can't get a normal wrench in there and again instead of using needle nose or something and making it look all chewed up and fucked up do it the right way and get the right tool they make a tool for just about everything these fit right in there now as you can see here's a standard 15 millimeter wrench and then the snap on wrench I'm gonna focus this bitch there we go so as you can see there's a significant difference now a snap on does label directly on the tool warning low torque only so this doesn't mean you can go set it on a nut and have your 500 pound girlfriend come and hang on it because it's not gonna happen you're gonna bend it you're gonna break it you're gonna fuck it up and snap on's gonna know you put your 500 pound girlfriend on it we don't want that snap on doesn't want that don't do that now this in particular wrench this one wrench was 48.50 now you guys are gonna think oh you're crazy spending 48.50 on one wrench well technically it's two wrenches okay so that brings it to $24.25 a wrench that's not bad that's like a sunburned dick you can't beat it that is a very very good deal I think to have the right tool for the right job you know yeah so what it's under the hood or behind a brake caliper the marks the marring the whatever but take pride in what you do try and do it to the best that you can and if something's fucked up and you have a way to fix it or correct it correct it now granted you might not have the money to buy these I know this but if you quit buying pornos on pay-per-view and fapping the gay porn on the internet you might have the money alright well my other camera just died so where was I I know something about 500 pound fat chicks and hanging on wrenches yeah, so anyways, if you don't have these, they might be a good investment for you. I understand they're pricey. I have right now, and have not checked, do not know of anyone else that makes these thin style wrenches other than Mac. Now, you may have seen them. If you have, please, you know, don't be, a, you're a stupid motherfucker. Other people make those. Okay, I don't know that. So just go ahead and leave it in the comments like a civilized adult, and then I will learn from that, and then I will pass the knowledge. But again these are really helpful really useful and if you guys do not have them you should look into getting them because they will make your life a whole lot easier